So, a wonderful good morning here again from Kabul, Afghanistan. Today I'm out and about in the very early morning at 8 a.m. As you can see, most shops are still closed, but uh, they're starting to open. Life begins, the city wakes up. Here yeah, on the left is already selling clothing, some nice uh, coats. Yeah, I'm just wondering if these sunglasses uh, makes me more noticeable or less noticeable, as I don't see anybody else wearing sunglasses. But I feel a bit more comfortable. Yeah, not just for the sunshine, but I feel I feel less unnoticed. Yeah? Even if it's maybe causing the opposite. Yeah, palm grenades. Yeah, very fresh. The typical food for everybody. Yeah, it's very interesting. The Italian one were eating palm grenades with uh, bread. It's a weird combination. I haven't tried it all. And salt as well. They're selling uh, clothing, I think. Bringing it somewhere. And here again, these shops already open. Nice blanket that it's cold now. Here in November. Very freezing. I'm wearing a lot of clothing. As you can see, I have my stuff, but I have a sweater underneath. I have my long pants underneath. And I'm still freezing my ass off here. So it's time to leave. I mean, actually, I plan to extend my visa. But unfortunately, there were problems because at the border to Pakistan, they didn't give me an entry stamp, just a paper and have an exit stamp from uh, Pakistan. But apparently that's not enough to extend, but it should be enough to leave, as I have three friends who they had also the same and they left without problems. But I don't want to let it extend my visa. They extended uh, Emma's visa, it cost $80 plus $40 for a letter from the Afghan tours. Yeah, uh, so $120. But I paid $40 for a letter and now I don't want to extend my visa. It's very annoying. So I have to leave in two days. My, today is Thursday and my visa is expiring on Sunday. So three more days. So Kabul, maybe this is my last day here in Kabul in the center. That's why I want to film the impressions I have walking the streets of Kabul. Yes, so the question. Which way to walk? So, let's turn left. Yeah, let's see the market here on this side. Here they have money exchange. Uh, even Euro. Let's see, actually do need some money. Yeah, so I want to exchange some uh, Pakistan money to Tajikistan money. And he's offering me uh, 155 for it. But Google says it's more than 99, so this is like 22%. Now I guess I get better money at the border. And how much do I get um, if I change it to uh, Afghani? How much Afghani would I get from this? All right, so for Afghani it's a bit better. I lose about, no, you cannot get a bit more. Can you not get a little bit more? Because I see, I see the official rate and I see you, of course you make profit, but a little bit more? No? <laughs> no. Then give me the money back. No, it's okay, then I keep it. So money, so money. I will Project check start. the other one. No, no, I will check later. Uh, the exchange rates are just horrible. They take at least 20%, 20 to 30%. So I, I will try at the border to Tajikistan. Yeah, see if they give it better. And for the Pakistan money, I give it, I guess, to Emma. Because she's going to Pakistan, she doesn't give me the real rates. We're having soup. Oh, yeah. What soup is this? Chicken? English? Chicken soup. Oh, yes. Ah, what do you want? You're speaking chicken soup, yeah? Ah, and how much is one? Ten Afghani. Ten Afghani only? Oh, only 10 cents. 10 to 20 Afghani, very cheap, very good. All you right. Like uh, maybe later, I just had breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just yeah. curious what it is. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, it looks very nice. Thank you very much for your offer. Cough for yeah. cold. Oh, for because cold. it's cold it's now, yes. Everything is good. Yes. It's cold day by day, and people like that. Yes, it's warm and hot. Yeah. Warm and the and price hot. is very good, yes. Cheap oh. and more important benefit for yes. the yes. cold. Oh, very nice, this chicken soup. Only 20 cents? Unbelievable. Uh, with bread. But again, you have to be careful when you eat street food. It's the same like in Pakistan, India. Yeah, so here the shops are opening. Yeah, with normal decoration. Beautiful. 
Energy drinks. I mean, all energy drinks here. Yeah, they all look. G. Energy, 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 non-energy. It's like magic. It's like the Fanta. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah, they love energy drinks here. What do you use this decoration for? <coughs> the houses? For parties? It could be for weddings. Hello, you speak English? No, no, it's okay, he's on the phone. Thank you. Good morning. English? Fine, thanks. English, I see here. English, English box. Do you speak English? Yes? What are these decorations here for? It's for wedding? For, for party? For party? Yeah? Ah. Oh, it's all for party, he said. Yeah? Very nice. Interesting. We have to have some brass, yeah? For the girls. Uh huh. Nice, thank you. <coughs> but you get no English. Yeah? Little suitcase, tiny. This would fit in the Ryanair and these cheap airlines. Yeah? But no. Hello. Nice to meet you. Do you speak English? No? No English? Oh yes, you're going no. for the... No uh, oh yes, some shops are still closed at 8 a.m. But as you can see, life is starting already. People wearing things on their head. Yeah, here more shoes. Are oh, you also breakfast? Sweets? Tea? What do you have? Do you speak English? English? No. I see sweets. I think it's also very affordable. Well, no, it's also soup here. Also chicken soup. Water. Yeah, let the car pass. Hello, salam alaikum. Here are some more shops. Let's stay on the street. Have a look. Yes. Oh, here they also have food. The street food, you can see. This is plain rice, yeah? Good morning. How are you today? Fine. Yes. Do you speak English? Yes. Ah, so they also have chickpeas, so it's all vegan. Very nice. Yeah, good breakfast. Yeah. Yes. Goodbye. Oh, here's some hats, mostly for the children. Oh, some fried thing. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Well, breakfast time. Afghan breakfast. Yes. Yes. Very delicious. Kabul, Kabul, Afghanistan. Kabul, Kabul yeah. breakfast. What is it? Fried, fried dough, yeah? Oh, I see. Very nice. Hello, good morning. Yes. So, yeah. So here, one of the busiest streets. Good morning, you speak English? Yes? Yes. This is the busiest street of Kabul, right? Very busy here. The market, yes. Yeah, Afghanistan, Zindabad. Yes, thank you. Wow. This street is crazy. Oy, oy, oy. Let me just go. Pass. Oh my god. This is absolutely insane here. Walking through the streets of Kabul. I have never been here to this place and I've been here for a month. In two days, I will have been here for four weeks, 29 days. And I have never been to a place like this. This is absolutely fascinating. Yes. I'm going to take some nice footage with my DSLR. Yeah, because it's, it's just too cool. People here are very curious while I'm walking around here filming the streets. Yeah, but I'm too obvious to be a spy, I think. Yeah, although people notice me. Yeah, I heard Emma got arrested, the Indian got arrested. This is District 1, so the most central part of Kabul. Yeah, so I have to be careful. But I think it's too obvious, you know? Like, it's so obvious that it can't be a spy. Yeah, so it should be just fine. Just walk. I have to just watch my bag for the little pickpockets, so I'm not sure. Especially kids. Adults are fine because the punishments are harsh. But for kids, since the punishments are not there, you have to be very careful. So I'm currently filming in German as well as in English language. That's why some of them make cuts and already one kilometer further away. Yeah, so I make basically two videos at the same time. Yeah. 
not simultaneously. That's why, if you're interested, watch my German vlog yeah, to see the other parts which are missing. On the other hand, the shops mostly are repeating as well, but sometimes you see something which you haven't noticed before. Yeah? As for example, this time, this beautiful tower over there. Yeah, it's like a roundabout, I think. But I haven't been there, so we'll check it out. I also really love these uh, slums, favelas, ghettos, as you want to call them, here in the mountains. They are beautiful, almost like in Brazil. Yeah. I had also a video in there before, highly recommended. We had only good experiences with the locals. Yeah, life there is harsh but fascinating. Yeah, and over there you can see the Hollywood sign of uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, back on the mountains. You can probably see it from the airplane even. Yeah, so. And here to my right, you can see a little tea shop. Yeah, they're making tea, apparently. Yes. And most shops are closed, and it's just half past eight. Yeah, you can see also there's a clock on it, although it says half past nine. I think it's the, the old time zone, if, if it's correct. I can't read it. It says half past nine, yeah, but it's half past eight, in fact. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that there's a time change. I don't know, but anyways. Come to this shop and buy all kinds of products. Yeah. Yes, this is yes. the master. What is yes. your name? Yes. Your name? Your name? Farid. Farid. Oh, ah, Farid. Farid. Farid is the master. And I noticed very interestingly, you have here, uh, they have noodles, the Afghan company with the chicken, Super Mario in the Burj Al Arab in Dubai. <laughs> they have noodles. Yeah, and five Afghani only. Company It's Afghan. unglaublich, yeah. Unglaublich, unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. thank you, goodbye. Yes, thank you, thank you. So again, people, the Vogel singt, the bird is singing. Yeah, you can't give him too much attention, otherwise he stops singing. Yeah, the birds here are trained to sing. I have never seen a country where the birds are singing so much. But it actually gives the impression that they're happy uh, being in a cage, you know, when they're singing. Yeah. And, and it's fascinating, you know, then it's actually nice to have a bird. Because in Germany, the birds or in other countries, they never sing, you know, they're just in their cage, yeah, being stressed out. But here they actually sing. It's, it's a very fascinating thing, I, I believe, you know, because the people train them. They play music of singing birds when they're young and then they kind of learn how to sing. Yeah, and that is very cool. People also pay attention. Salam alaikum. Yes, nice to meet you. So, again, here is a street. Left to me is a mosque. Yeah, right to me are some uh, pots. Yeah, and here he has, I think this is detergent for the washing machine in all colors. Soap, yeah, as well. So you see, streets are usually categorized. So here you see detergent, detergent, detergent. Before we were, they have a cooking floor, cooking floor, cooking floor. Yeah, then the animal products and then all kinds of stuff. Or, you know, all categorized. So here you find all soap. The question is, do you have a lot of competition if you do it like this? Yeah, because then you just go from shop to shop and agree and ask who is cheaper. Yeah, but then I think these people should agree on the price. Yeah, to not have this um, problem that people are negotiating. Yeah, too much. So here they have tea. Yeah, it brings, wow, like 50 kilo, very heavy, yeah. And again, detergent powders with baby. Before I saw a flower with baby, yeah, here yeah, with horses. I don't know what horses and babies have to do with detergent, but that's the promotion. I think because these are positive symbols. Yeah, horses, the symbol of strength. And the kids, pure beauty. As you see here, playing. And the birds as well, very interesting. What's going on? Ah, I'm just filming. Hi, you speak English. Good morning. Nice Good morning. to meet you. Thank you. Yes, I'm just looking what you have. Like nice products it's from Afghanistan shopping. here. Yeah. Khyber. No, yeah. This, uh, oh, Pakistan. Yeah, ah, it's Pakistan. Because Khyber is the border yeah, Pakistan to Afghanistan. Types, so like yeah. Tocham. Yeah, you know? Tocham. Yes, I came through there. That's why I noticed this. And this is the history, I think. Alexander the Great. Yeah. yeah? 
But what product? Yes, yes. But this is like soap, right? No, this uh, fire. Fire? Yeah. Oh, you're selling fire. Yeah, it's fire. Uh -huh. Interesting. Fire, eagle, different thing. And the cookies? These are cookies. Yes. Like Interesting sweets. products. That's why I like to film it. Uh, Germany. Germany. Many Afghan people in Germany. Yeah. Yes, that's why. I was planning to go to Germany. Yeah, inshallah. I hope you can make it. Yeah, but it's very difficult. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Try student is the easiest way. Thank you very much. Be my guest today. Thank you. I know I'm fine. I have to go. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Again, you see super kind people. Very, very nice. They're using, it looks very similar to the McDonald's M. Yeah, I don't know what food it is actually. It's English second face, it's Afghanistan product. Yeah, potato snack. Ah, hello, guten Morgen. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, potato, the potato man. Yeah, the vegetable man. Or the carrots, wow. They look fascinated and they clean the streets, which I find very nice. Although I, I would uh, support that I have more trash cans. Oh, and juice again. Oh, okay. oh hello. Assalamu alaikum. Very nice. What are you selling? English? Bread? No. No? Is it, is it stable, yeah? Wow. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Thank you. Tashako. Oh, you speak English? Nice to meet you. What shop do you have here? Uh, this is a spare part of motorcycle. Ah, motorcycle parts. I see here. This thing, you have oil, right? Something. Oil and other parts. Oil for motorcycle. Lock. Everything for motorcycle. If you need anything, come to this man. He will sell you uh, the best shop of motorcycles in Kabul. Not only in Kabul, but in entire Afghanistan. City. In Kabul City. Ah, oh, yes, very nice. What's the name of your shop? The name of your shop? All right. And what is the name of the street? Yeah, yeah. What is the name? Again? Uh, the street name Jodi uh, Maiwan. This is a famous uh, road in Kabul City. Ah, yes, this is a famous road. Yeah, it's very busy. And there are many motorcycle shops here. Yeah, they are uh, still uh, just motorcycle. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, I sell a uh, small part of motorcycle. Oh, and you specialize in the parts. Yeah. And where did you learn English? Uh, when I was in Pakistan, I learned English. Ah, you were in Pakistan before? Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, and you came back. You went to Peshawar, many Pashtun. Are you Pashtun? Yeah, I'm Pashtun. Yeah. Ah, many Pashtuns in Peshawar, I see. Yeah, very nice. I also came from Peshawar. Uh, Khaiba Pass, yeah, to Tocham. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. that's how I came here, yes. Very nice. And uh, do you have friends or family in other countries? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? Where are they? Uh, yes. Goodbye. Yeah, sehr nett. Uh, very nice. Uh, by the way, the, interest, the difference is also that they drink uh, the tea with uh, milk in Pakistan, and here it's just pure tea, which I prefer. It's no milk, no animal abuse. Yeah. So here they're selling motorcycles, as you can see. Yeah, parts, motorcycles, everything you need on this famous street, which I already forgot the name. Yeah, here's a kebab shop and carpets, kebab and carpets, all together and motorcycles. Blowing his nose, the carpet. It's a very nice carpet shop. Assalamu alaikum. Beautiful carpets. Hello. Hello. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. English? Chai Wushka. Ah, yeah. Chai. This man speaks English. Thank you very much. Tashako, Manana. So I just walked here into the small side street. There's no people, yeah, but apparently it's safe here. Salam alaikum. There should be this famous tomb nearby, but I'm afraid we might not be able to access it from the back side. Yeah, and the entrance, I think it's on the other side. It's still interesting to see how the people live here. It is so empty. Nice houses here in the center. Here they're having nets. But are these mosquito nets? They're way too big. These holes. Very interesting. Here, numbers for advertising always. 7-7. Seven, seven. I think they like the number 7 here and the number 4. Maybe these are lucky numbers. Wow, it's unbelievable. You know, I just came from this super noisy crowded street and then we go here in this place which is almost like a village next to it. Such a strong contrast you find. Although now, 
it's slightly getting busier. And here it's more like a construction. Sands, you find but kids. Kids are playing hard work apparently, making stones. Salam alaikum. Very, very interesting. Hello, hello. Do you, do you speak English? No? Uh, English. Okay, goodbye. Hello, good morning. Yes, beautiful streets here in this neighborhood. He speaks perfect English. Yeah. Yeah, like Avas. Where did you learn English? Uh, I'm learning course and um, uh, and one of course and around the, the country. Are coming. No. Yeah. Uh, no. And my brother told me, can you help me? And do you have any uh, P? And I needed a lot of P. Yes, no, I'm sorry. I don't give money. I give candy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, candy. You already got candy. She already have candy, yes. Candy, yeah. She had candy, but he have not candy. And he have not had candy, and he have not had candy. You already had candy. You had candy. You had candy. You had candy. That is getting too much now. Enough, enough. Enough, enough. Come, let's go. The kids, no, they already got candy. You already have candy. No, no, no. Oh, kids are very complicated. Yeah. So where are you going now? Like, what is your plan? Me, I'm planning a uh, uh, camp to in, inside of yes? the buzzer and buy something for. My what What do you want to buy? Let's uh, join you. Let's yeah. go. What do you want to buy? I buy I mean, uh, shoes. Shoes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, shoes and clothes for me. All right. Shoes and clothes. Hello. Yeah. Wow, oh, this market is crazy. So I have my new hat. Just tell me a little bit. Do you live here in Kabul? Yeah, I'm living in Kabul. Ah. I'm, I'm a student in uh, school. High school. Ah, how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? What's your age? Age and uh, 11. You're 11 years old? Yeah. No, you're 11 years old? Yeah, yeah. No, you look older. You have a beard. No. You're me. not 11. You're you're 20. No, Wow. I'm 11 grade in high school. Are you 11 grade? Yes. Yeah. You're 11 grade. And how old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Me. 20, uh, right? Uh, uh, Fifth. Uh, 50 years old. 15. If yeah. Ah, you're 15. All right. Yeah. And you're 11th grade already. Yeah. It's what is your dream? Uh, what do you want to do? My dream is uh, a doctor. In, in, uh, doctor. I uh, took to to be a doctor. All right. That's why English is very important. Yeah, important exactly. Okay. So here you get shoes, or where we get the shoes? Uh, and I think it's, and shoes is the market. All right, the market. There. Let's go to the shoe market. Yeah. Uh, you came to in inside of the bazaar and buy something for yourself. No, I just came to film. Yeah. I just want to film the life, you know, because yeah. it's very busy here. So it's very interesting to see what yeah. they're selling. I want to see the people. Here's the money exchange. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Apparently. And uh, just the daily life. Yeah. Food. Food is interesting. People, culture. Uh, you do know? you like any uh, uh, food and restaurant? I, I like pomegranates. Pomegranates. Pomegranates are my favorite. Oh, lots of money they have here. It's oh, a money yeah, exchange. Oh, but you yeah, exchange. Let me let me exchange some money. Yeah. I want to go for Tajikistan. How much um, some more for Tajikistan I get for Afghani? So again, the exchange rates are not good here. So don't change the money. And here the car is really broken. It's the Taliban looking. And uh, we're going to get some shoes now. Right? Yeah. So let's get five you, shoes. Uh, where, uh, where are you from, my bro? Uh, I'm Germany. From Germany. Germany. Yes. Yeah, that's, uh, Yes, uh, Ger Germany is a beautiful country. You should visit. Yeah, uh, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah, I'm, I hope you can I'm come. So I just bought spontaneously new shoes for 1,000 Afghani. This is a uh, 12 euro. Okay. Yes, 12 euro about. And these shoes are very warm because they have this fur. You are supposed to buy shoes, but look who got the shoes here. 
I just bought shoes and they're amazing for this price. 10 pounds. Amazing. So now I can bring my old dirty shoes. So come look at them, yeah? I really need new shoes. I have worse shoes than most people here, you know? Yeah, yeah. They think Germans are rich, but no. Yeah, they have better shoes. Money. Money. Come on. All right. Yeah, Thank you very much. Up. Very nice clothing. Look what they have. Ferrari. Ferrari. Yes. How much is it? Sixteen hundred. Six hundred. One thousand six hundred. No, just six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred only. Six pounds for this, and it fits perfectly. You helped me, and I wanted to uh, come into German. Yes, I give you context of Afghan people in Germany who know tell you what to do. The best is to go to university. Where, so. where do you live in Afghanistan? I live here in the center. Uh, Shah al Nau. Shah al Nau. Shah al Nau, yes. Where are locations? You and the house you, uh, you live or not? I'll rent a hotel for 1000 per night. Wow. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Where are you living? Uh, Shah al Nau. Okay, bye. Ah, very nice people. Yeah, so I'll take a taxi now. I don't know why he's getting out. Yeah. I guess he's checking something on the car. Yeah, I'm not sure why. So yes, I'm going to meet my uh, German friend now. Uh, no, it's an Afghan friend who comes to Germany. And uh, he will help me uh, to go one more time to the border police department and see if I can extend my visa. And if not, I will have to leave to Tajikistan tomorrow on Saturday. Yeah, so... Inshallah, let's hope I can stay longer in Afghanistan. Yeah, I'm afraid to just tell me that I have to go back to Tokham border, which is seven hours away, and there's no way I'm going to do that. For one week extension, this is just too much. Plus $80 of the cost? No. No, I'm sorry. I, if I extend, even as a month extension, I'm just going to spend here seven or eight more days. Yeah, because I booked a flight to Germany from Uzbekistan on December 8th. So, right now, we're going to meet to the location yeah, where I'm going to meet my friend. Oh, there you see the tower. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, they swap me off here. Okay. Uh, just, just here. So now we're back with Emma. Yeah, it's Emma. Emma, the wandering I'm Emma. Away. I'm smoking. Are oh, you smoking? <laughs> okay. okay. Don't film. Are you vaping? Yeah. You don't want to be filmed vaping? Well, not when I've got my reading glasses on and vaping. <laughs> this is real, Emma. You should see her off cam. Okay, I can cut okay, it out. Done that oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we can also just put anything of me. Yeah, it's it's yeah, a part of a life. It, ah, this is natural. It looks so it beautiful. Looks ugly. No, yeah. they are beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Yes. And to the right, yes. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. And here with Safula. Yeah. Again, yeah. we're going to a good neighborhood today to show you the nice parts of uh, Kabul, Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah so Lesay Mariam. Lesay Mariam, it's the name. Yeah, because many people requested it, they wanted to see, yeah, and show and see how also foreigners react to the good parts and see how good is good here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, here's a wedding hall all to the right. Exit and the roundabout onto Kolula, yeah, road. There apparently was a wedding In two days ago. Meters, at the roundabout, yeah, yeah. And took the yes. instrument of music. The Taliban took the instruments away and the owner of the restaurant was fined 15,000 Afghani. Yeah, that is $200 fine for playing music. Unbelievable. So, music is very bad. Yeah. <laughs> in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. Not in Afghanistan. Not in other world. Yes. But you have some music, right? You have the local, the, I mean, uh, the Taliban, they listen to music too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> They yes. are religious, religious, religious music. Religious music yeah. yeah. Without any instrument, playing instrument. Yeah, there's some uh, no instrument. And look over there, they have the color embossed. Did you see that, Emma? The color embossed. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a copy. Yeah, it's copy. Yes. So we went to the original in Helmand, <laughs> yeah, in the and uh, here's a fact. But well, there's a checkpoint, so I'll take the camera down. The biggest flag in the world. Really, I have never seen a bigger flag than this. Look at the beautiful car embossed. Yeah, I think keep driving. 
Just film it on the side. Wow, it's okay. Beautiful. All right, so we are another market here, uh, somewhere in uh, another district. And it looks very, very nice. It's a beautiful market. They have all kinds of things you can find. And especially in this market, you see way more women yeah, and families with kids than in the other market. Yeah, it's a different district here. Yes. Yeah, it's also a bit more upscale, but not as upscale as I expected. Yeah. So it's a nice neighborhood. It's good to see the life here. Yeah. There are almost more women than men. Yeah, look at this. Women are free at home, so here shopping for you. The house is a little bit cleaner than in the city center. Much, it's a nice neighborhood. Much in planning manner. Yes. Yeah, it's, this is one of the best neighborhoods of Kabul. Yeah. I think this is what people wanted to see, not the market. Yeah. Good house, it's nice architecture. Well, cars, still Toyotas everywhere. Yeah. The same, but maybe slightly newer Toyotas. Yeah. And here on the left is a beautiful mosque. Yeah. And uh, generally, it's a very pretty, pretty place. Wow. These houses are nice. But the architecture is very different from Europe. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but it's nice to see another part of uh, Kabul as well. Food is coming. Yes. Looks very delicious, and I'm very hungry. See what they have today. Three palaos and you have kebab. Ah, oh, nice. I love this palau. Here's the restaurant, Kashia. You pay how old are you? 11 years. 11 years, so you're doing very well already. Yes. He gave you good change? Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I just had to find out that the Afghan passport yeah, ranks passport 112 in the worst and it's the, in the world. And it is unfortunately the worst passport in the world makes it very, very difficult for Afghan people to travel. So you can see the world map, and there are very few visa-free countries. You can go visa-free to Bangladesh, you can go to Somalia, you can go to, uh, I think, Mozambique, and you could go to Cambodia. 